Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm doing another interview. My guest today appeared on Waterloo Road for quite a few seasons, so they played Alicia and today Lauren will be joining me and she's going to be telling us more about her acting career and maybe some behind the scenes stories of Waterloo Road too. Hi, I'm Lauren Thomas and I play Alicia Dillon in Waterloo Road. Thank you so much for coming, Lauren. So today I'm interviewing you and I've got questions based on your acting career. So my first question for you is, when did you first get into acting? It's, since I was little, I've just always been acting things out. So at the end of the day, of like, end of school day, I would go home and I would act out everything that happened in the day. And my mum and dad was like, we need to, we need to send her to, like, she, she's an actress. Like we need to take it to acting school or acting classes. So my dad looked into it and, um, and then my mum and dad sent me to drama classes. And at first I was like, I don't want to go there. I don't even know anyone and I'm scared. And I went in and I'd realized I, I really wanted to be an actor. And do you know, the, do, do you want to know the moment that I, I realized I really, really wanted to be an actress? I, I remember I was at my auntie's house and she put on this, like, I was, like, the, the room upstairs wasn't sorted and I was staying over. So she, she was like, you stay down on the couch. And, she, and I was like, it's scary down here. And she was like, I'll leave the TV on for you. And she went, I'll put on a film for you. And I was like, okay. So um she put on this random film. I'd never seen it before. And I was... I was quite little, probably, probably too young to watch the film. But anyway, <laughs> um, it was uh, Girl Interrupted, and I watched the entire. She put it on for me to like fall asleep to, and I ended up staying up and I watched the entire film, and then I watched it again because it repeat. It goes on repeat automatically. I watched it again and I watched it three times that night. And it was morning by the time I finished it. And I was like obsessed with Winona Ryder's character, but the one that just completely made me realize that I really wanted to be an actress is Angelina Jolie's character in Girl Interrupted. I was like, I, I want to do that. I want to do that. Like straight away, I was like, I, I have to do this. This, whatever she's doing, like this, this acting, I have to do this. And so that, that was the moment I just thought, this is what I really want to do. Like, I really, I'm really passionate about it and I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, that's such a kind of lovely story. And it's great, obviously, that you chose to be an actor. And that's kind of such a wonderful moment for you. And my next question is about Waterloo Road. And it is, what was it like auditioning for the show? It was... It was strange because I didn't actually, I didn't actually have an odd, like a official audition. I, I ended up, my dad phoned my agent and was like, why she not had a, an audition? And she's been with you for like years and, and, um, and there was like, she was, if she has got an audition and he was like, oh, right, when? And she was like, now. And I was, and my dad was like, what? And there was like, yeah, well, in 15 minutes. And he went, 15 minutes, where? And she was like, Rochdale. And it took like longer than 15 minutes to get to Rochdale. So my dad was just like, get in the car. And I was like, we're not going to make it. My mum was like, she's not, she's not going to make it. And he was like, we'll make it. And we started driving and he was driving cr like crazy down the motorway. And we got there and uh, there's, um, there's a security guard at the door and I went over and I was like, he said, name. And I was like, Lauren Thomas. And he went, you're not on the list. And I was like, I have an audition. He was like, you're not on the list. Sorry. I was like, oh, all right. Well, I have an audition. You can phone back. He was like, I'm sorry. If you're not on the list, I can't let you in. He was like, sorry. Bye. And me and my dad was just like, I was just gutted. And my dad walked, was walking over to the car and he was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And and then we got in the car and just as we was about to leave, the security guard ran over and he went, Do you know what? Do you know what? Just 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 go. Just get in. Go. And 
And I was like, are you sure? He was like, yes, just go before I change my mind. And I ran in and I was so excited. And even though I didn't have an official audition, but I went in, I tried speaking to all the girls that were there. I'd never been to an audition before, so I didn't, I didn't know what, like, what you had to be like. Yeah, that's a really great audition story and it obviously it sounds like a bit of a wild ride but it sounds obviously well worth it and it's great that you got the part obviously. So my next question for you is, in 2014 you appeared in Hollyoaks, what was that like? That was, it, it was really strange. I was playing someone that's already been in, so like the girl Amber Sharp had already been in Hollyoaks um, years before, but people still remembered her. So I was thinking, I'm going into a role where where someone it has already played um, Amber Sharp, and I'm thinking, what if people like? hate the fact that I am a different person <laughs> and they're like wait I remember Amber and you're not Amber that's what I, was, I thought would happen and I was I was really nervous about that but the thing that I was nervous about the most was having a child so Amber has a child with Finn and so I was put in charge of this little girl. Um <laughs> who didn't always want to do what she was told. <laughs> it was hard. Um uh, and and I'm not I've never been a maternalistic, like, I've never been, I've never been great with kids because I've, I've just never wanted them and things. And so I, I when I got told that I, I had a child, I was just like, uh, okay. Um, and then I was, I was trying to talk to her. Like, I'm good with my my family, like my niece, my niece and my nephews, and but other than that, like other people's kids, I'm just like, hello, <laughs> just really awkward. But it went really well. I actually, it went so much. It it was so much better than I thought it would be. Um. And uh, the guy that plays Finn is is a, a great guy, a great guy. Um, but yeah, I had a really good time. I had a really good time. Yeah, it sounds like Hollyoaks was a really good time and everything. Do you look up to anyone in the acting world? I I did do. Do you know when I was younger? I loved, loved Angelina, like I told you, the girl interrupted. Um, I loved Angelina Jolie, right? I read books about her, I watched all of her films. I, anything that with Angelina Jolie I, I bought. Um, and I just loved, what I loved is how she's this, like, little skinny woman and she has been put to play, like, badasses, like, I love how she went, like, from, she can play, like, Girl Interrupted, like, um, serious mental health problems to um 
Tomb Raider to Wanted to Soul. Like, it's like she's and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Um, and I, 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 I loved watching everything, everything she was in. Um, other than that, that it is like I, I feel like <clears throat> I don't agree with idolizing. Like when I when I grew up a bit, I realized it's not good to idolize anyone because it's. I mean, I I love work that people do, but. I used to act like I used to basically idolize Angelina Jolie, and when I grew up a bit, I was like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute, she's she's just a human." Like everyone, every, all actors are just humans. Like <clears throat> I really don't. I I the way that like paparazzi go crazy and follow them and yeah i think that's great obviously um i know like fame can sometimes be like a bit tricky because there's obviously like some people who love it like you said but some people who just want to like you said go down to the shop and just not be harassed basically but we have um we've done all of the questions now when we have come to the end of the interview and it's been fantastic finding out more about yourself especially the stories like everybody loves a good behind the scenes story and i do really appreciate you coming on the show lauren so thank you so much and thank you so much to everybody who watched this video i hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you next week for another interview bye guys we <laughs>